Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Bear Bells Functional Foods. These are protein bars. And I want to thank Tim for sending these to us very, very much. Uh, this was a surprise box for sure. I love the pink box and it includes four bars inside. Uh, so it says irresistible protein bars. We believe in happy eating and, ha and healthy living. That's why we offer a whole range of protein bars and a variety of delicious flavors without any added sugar. Bear Bell's protein bars are a real treat at any time of the day. The brand was launched in Sweden in 2016 and offers a wide range of protein bars that never compromises with flavor. So go ahead, feed your cravings. Um, and uh, it's bearbells, B-A-R-E-B-E-L-L-S dot com. Um, so we have uh, caramel cashew, white chocolate, almond, salty peanut, and cookies and cream. And they actually have, uh, the pamphlet they sent me actually has five flavors on it. The only one we don't have is crunchy fudge. Uh, so, but they are all 200 calorie bars. So, I think we should try the, let's try the cookies and cream first. So, these are made in Sweden. And um, one of my friends, Karina, had told me about these bars. She said that she is really, I asked her, um, I said, uh, in your area, what is a popular uh, bar and she said I really like uh, the Bear Bells and um, so I looked them up because I thought I'm gonna order me some of these and the only thing was that I could see that you had to buy a, a big box with the same flavor and uh, uh, so I'm hoping they'll come out with a variety pack like this that people can buy. Mm -hmm. Like two or three of these flavors? Mm -hmm. So this is cookies and cream, 20 grams of protein, no added sugar. There's a lot to chew, mm -hmm. which is a good thing if you're eating it raw. This reminds me of a okay. lot of protein bars here, but I don't, I, it does have that protein bar flavor. Yeah, you get that a little bit. But I don't think it's as strong as in some of the ones we mm. have here. No, it's not like in your face protein bar. And I like the texture. I, I think the texture, the texture, texture is soft. I'm trying to think of what it may be like. It's kind of like cookie dough, but but denser. Yes, it's, it's uh, because <laughs> a lot of the protein bars that we've tried have been, uh, very, very dense. They're even denser than this. Yes, like, and so this is soft compared to those. Oh yeah. Th those are more uh, even chewy. Yeah, I should say they're either really dense and hard, or they're like a Quest bar. Right. Or they're very chewy, like a like the Built bars are kind of a chew to them. Right. Um, these are kind of more. Built bars are like almost caramely. Yeah. This is more like a Quest bar, but the textures are softer. Are softer than a Quest yeah. bar. Yes. Um, and the, flavor wise, they're okay. It, it really doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. I didn't think beyond that. Like the, the protein, protein flavor. Yeah, it's it, it's hard to do cookies and cream. Cookies really and cream is. is, yeah, it's hard to do. It's you, one of those that it's just hard to do. It is. Usually cookies and cream is like one of my least favorite flavors and things. Exactly. Because there's really not a lot of flavor there. So. Right. It's so, not bad by any means. If, if you want to eat it, go for it because I don't think it's bad. Let's do white chocolate almond. It's not bad, just just know that I didn't think it had a lot of flavor to it. This one looks So good. it does have uh, like almond pieces uh, on the top, it looks oh, like. Well, those little crunchy cereal like pieces. I don't know, because the other one had a lot of crunchy pieces. Okay, it, it says. Um, that gave you a big enough piece last time. Oh, yeah, it was perfect. Make sure I give you enough. The piece. first ingredient is protein blend. Right. Mm. Chocolate. Mm. That one tastes a little more like a protein bar. Mm -hmm. I think it's whatever they use for chocolate and all these protein bars is almost the same. <laughs> and it's good. No matter what the brand. Mm -mm. Yeah, if they have anything to do with chocolate, they almost always taste the same. 
Same texture, basically. Yes. I think if you are used to the protein bar flavor, mm -hmm. especially in the white bars, it's this is the same flavor. Yeah. This reminds me very, very much of uh, what, what other ones that we've had. Yeah. Um, but I still think this is softer than I ever. like the texture a lot better. Yes, I do like the, the I think the texture is much nicer. Uh, the flavor, I think they're good quality. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you're already eating protein bars, that's a good protein Exactly. Bar. If Yes, if you're used to that flavor, then, um, okay, let's try salty peanut. Yeah, because it might just literally be peanut. Mm, it smells good. Salty peanut says the same thing. They must all have 20, 20 grams of uh, protein. Yeah. I this think. one's all the same. Yeah, they all have 20 color. grams of protein. You know, I was stupid because I took pictures of the bar. Of the bar. <laughs> so I'm sitting here trying to focus the camera on, on the nutritional information. It's all right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will retake pictures and I'll have a picture of this for you at the end so you can read it. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That one that one was really good. The protein bar flavor wasn't, it was still there, but it wasn't nearly as strong, but it also brought on some peanut flavor. I could eat that. Yeah. I could eat, yes, I could eat that all the time. Mm -hmm. It was a raw peanut flavor. Yeah, it's like an unsalted peanut. Yes, uh, yes, there, it's not, uh, it's not uh, salty, it's not very sweet, but now, then again, they, it's good. They probably didn't want to add a lot of salt to these to make them healthier, but right. if they added just a little bit of salt to it, it make you it would like, um, No, I could eat that one all the time. It's very good. So if that my doctor good. said, hey Tammy, you need more protein, that this is one way to do it. Yes, because I really, really do like that. I if you just, like peanuts, I think that's good. If a doctor told me that, I would just eat more steak. The doctor's not going to tell you to <laughs> eat more steak, Kevin. <laughs> protein. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. This is, mm, this is caramel cashew. And you know, that they all have these little like crunchy bits, but they're not like overly crunchy. No, they're not. Sometimes they're, they they're not overdo distracting. Them. Yeah. You can see the layer of uh, caramel mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, sometimes they overdo them where they're like really dry, like cereal pieces, and, and these aren't like that. I don't know if Karina told me her fla favorite flavor of these or not. I'm sure she will be watching this video, and she'll comment below. I like that one too. Right about. Mm-hmm. Again, the protein flavor is not overpowering. It's not. It's, it's there, but it's not really strong. But it's got a bit of that that caramel flavor too. Out of the four bars, that's definitely the sweetest. Mm -hmm. That that yeah, the, the caramel brought in. The, the caramel sweetest. gives it a lot of sweetness. It it is a nice caramel, your classic caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. It does not taste like a protein bar at all. No, I didn't get any of that. The aftertaste is a little protein barish, but. Uh, maybe after you eat the whole thing, but I didn't get it in my yeah. my bite at all. That's those good. those two would be my favorite. Yeah, the so strongest now, flavor by far is the peanut one. Now we didn't get to try the crunchy fudge, so I don't know if Karina might say, "Oh, that's my favorite flavor." I don't know. Uh, we'll have to watch for her reply in the comments. Well, the only thing about the the, the fudge one mm -hmm. is it's probably more like that white. The white one that had that strong chocolate kind of flavor that mm -hmm. tasted like all protein bars. Yeah, so I'm I'm, a, I'm probably okay with not trying it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, I really really like the. Uh, I think the salty peanut is gonna be my favorite. It needs more salt. But that's, it's, it's the best one. That's gonna be. Yeah, it does say salty. Mm -hmm. It's supposed it needs to be more salty. salt. Um, and that's gonna be my go-to all the time. I, I really like that. And then caramel cashew is gonna be second. Yep. Okay. Definitely. Uh, but I think these are very, very good quality. I think if you've tried protein bars and they've been too dense, too hard on your teeth maybe, because some of that, you know, all that chewy, dense is, you know, sometimes it affects people. 
I think you will be impressed with the uh, the texture of these because they are much, much softer yeah. Yeah. and they won't bother you at all. They're softer, but they still have a chew where you feel like mm -hmm. you're eating something. Yes, too. absolutely. So, so it, it's it's a good balance. Yeah, absolutely. Good. The one I really didn't like was that one with the chocolate. The only one that I would say I did not like care the, the white for was one. the white chocolate. Yeah. yeah, that was the only one that I would pass I on. I personally for. wouldn't care. Yeah. But like we said, if you like protein bars, you won't care. If you're you used to it, because so many protein bars that we have had, white chocolate tastes exactly like this. And a lot of you like that and you're used to it. So this is going to be that classic yeah. flavor uh, yeah. that you are already used to. So I will try to find a link uh, and link to them below if you're interested. I'll have a picture for you at the end. I'll have some really good pictures of the ingredients for you at the end. And thanks for watching.